policies within Parallels Browser Isolation allows us to restrict applications based on specific parameters. So if we want to take a look at what some of those parameters are, we can see we can uh, restrict based on uh, users and on groups. We can also restrict a policy to be active within a certain time of day. We can limit based on a user's location. And we can also do things to manipulate the application itself. For example, to disable printing or disable download from that application, uh, copy and paste via the clipboard. Uh, the policy could also disable the application. So it depends on the filter you've chosen at the top. For that particular group of users, for example, this application might be disabled. There are also end user experience options as well. One of the things that some users might find tricky is because we're embedding a browser, a cloud-based browser, inside their local browser tab, they might perhaps lose track of which of those tabs is their secure browser access. So we can indicate that in a number of ways. We can put a blue border around the entire window. We can turn on a toast notification, which pops up in the bottom of their screen to let them know they're on secure browser. We can use a tab indicator, which literally puts a little asterisk in their tab itself. And we can use watermarking as well. So that's not just an indicator that's gonna be across their entire screen. That also is a security mechanism to discourage a screenshotting of the application window. We can also restrict domains inside a policy as well. Now, for a web application, that's not so relevant because by default, a web application is restricted already. But in a secure browser, which is open by default, this allows me to restrict domains that a secure browser can access. So let's take a look at a couple of practical examples. We've got a few policies already set up here. One that we're going to use is called Disable Application. So when we apply that to a specific application, that will be disabled and you'll see what the impact of that is. And the other is called UX Features. So this is going to turn on the blue border on the application and is also going to activate toast notifications. So the way we add a policy is to go to the application itself, scroll right to the bottom and find the policy section, choose the policy we want and select Add. We then save the application. So we've added the disable application to the My Parallels web app. On the My Parallels browser, we're going to add the UX features policy. We're going to choose Add again, and then we're going to save. Now we're going to go and see what the user would see. So as you can see, the first thing that's noticeable is the application we disabled is still visible to the user, but it's grayed out and it says disabled by policy. If I open the browser, a little bit tricky to see the border, but there is a blue border around the whole window. You can also see the toast notification that popped up in the bottom right hand corner down there. Uh, those are the two user experience features we turned on using that policy. And that concludes our video on Parallels Browser Isolation Policies. To find out more about Parallels Browser Isolation, please check out the rest of the videos in this Tech by series.